green scientists are charting us on a global course too. In fact, the University of Pretoria's Dr. Mia Vieja was part of a team of scientists that's discovered the world's largest fish breeding colony in Antarctica. This proves that Antarctica is not this desolate place we once thought. Uh, Doc, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on this find. For those of us who are not zoologists or ichthyologists, explain exactly what this find is and what it means for science. Thank you very much, Dr. Puma. So what this means is this is the largest fish nest colony ever discovered, not just in Antarctica, but in the world as well. Um, I think the previous record was around 60 fish nests. This is 60 million fish nests. This, of course, doesn't just have implication for our understanding of fish biology and their breeding distribution, but also for the entire ecosystem around Antarctica, because we know uh, that that amount of biomass lures a lot of predators, and it helps to feed the bottom ends of the um, food chain also. Doc, when did this find take place? Uh, and was it a surprise? Is, is this what you went out there looking for? No, so this was part of a larger expedition uh, in Antarctica with the German Alfred Wiedner Institute. And the guys who work with the camera put down the camera in the evening. They usually work around between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning. And as Dr. Alton Purser, the lead scientist of this project, put it, uh, when they put the camera down, they just started seeing fish nest after fish nest after fish nest. It was a huge surprise and a massive discovery. I mean, that's the next morning when I woke up and got to breakfast, that's the only thing uh, everyone was talking about. And there were photos put up against the walls in the ship that everyone was so excited about this. Uh, what fish make up the colony and, and, and what was that experience like when you, when you managed to see what I hear is a huge expanse? This, almost half of Cape Town is how big this colony is. Yes, yeah, so the colony is 240 kilometers in area. So that's, to put it into perspective, that's the size of Bloemfontein. Um, it was, yeah, it was a massive surprise. Everyone was so excited. That's all we spoke about, um, yeah, for days on the ship. Um, the fish species is Iona's ice fish. So ice fish is a, sp a specific type of fish that has developed or evolved certain traits and characters that allows them to live in Antarctica. Uh, for example, they no longer have hemoglobin in their blood, which means their blood isn't red. They also no longer have scales, which allow them to absorb oxygen through their skin in the cold waters. Um, they're about 75 centimeters in length. Um, but really, we know very little about the biology of these species because they live um, very deep, below 400 meters deep, in one of the most remote parts of the ocean. So this is a massive jump um, in the understanding of the species. Uh, this shows that there's still many gaps in our knowledge of the deep sea, doesn't it? There's still pr plenty of surprises out there. So what does, what does the future hold for, for this study and, and for your studies in general? Um, so I know, I know Dr. Autumn Purser left down two cameras on the ocean floor for the next two years that will continuously record images because these fish nests were captured in a snapshot in time, only in February when they're breeding. We don't know what's happening the rest of the year. Do they breed every year? So this sort of imagery will tell us a bit more about their life history and their general breeding ecology. Um, in terms of the larger, bigger picture, the Weddell Sea, where this discovery was made, is busy or is under consideration for marine protected area by the Commission for Conservation of Antarctic Marine and Living Resources. But remember, in Antarctica, um, it doesn't belong to any one country. So countries have to vote and collectively decide to establish a marine protected area. And at the moment, certain countries are blocking the establishment of this marine protected area for the simple reason that we don't have enough uh, science or information about the area to justify the establishment of this protected area. But this is now a solid um, Add to the to add some weight to our argument. This this could be an, a marine protected area. This is going to contribute massively to that effort. All right, thank you so much, Doc. That's a big win uh, for maintaining biodiversity. Thank you so much, the University of Pretoria's Dr. Mia Vieja, who helped discover the world's largest fish breeding colony in Antarctica.